Is it an island? No, it's a sea vessel. 30 minutes away by boat, this giant silhouette is visible from the shore. This is the USS Ronald Reagan, docking in Manila for the first time after patrolling unhindered in the disputed South China Sea. The US Navy opens its doors to the media and gives a brief tour of its hangar. The USS Ronald Reagan is a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier with 5,000 officers and crew on board. It's a sea vessel, but it feels like a fortress. The ship is equipped with missiles, guns, and the latest in electronic warfare. Commander Rear Admiral Mark Dalton says the USS Ronald Reagan is in the Philippines for a quick R&R. So the primary purpose of our port visit is to give our sailors a chance to experience uh, everything that uh, Manila and the Philippines have to offer and uh, have a chance to uh, get to know some of the uh, people here in the Philippines. Dalton says many of the USS Reagan's Navy men are connected to the country. In fact, over a hundred of its crew and officers are Filipino Americans. One of them is Earl Pobleo, who spent his childhood in the Philippines and is now one of the vessel's chefs. Five years ago, po, na bumalik. And I feel, I feel very excited, um, looking forward to the food again, and um, the parks, and all the stuff, Mo MOA, of course, go shopping, and uh, meet all kinds of people. Pobleo says he has been in the U.S. Navy for over a year and a half, joining patrols off Korea, Hong Kong, and Singapore. We are here at the hangar of the USS Ronald Reagan, named after President Ronald Reagan of the United States. Behind me are the crew. They are off for what they call liberty, where they go to the country and they go around and have fun and, uh, as their commanders said it, to get their time off. And here at the hangar too are the fighter jets that they deploy when it comes to patrols and also in times of conflict. Peace through strength. This is the motto of the USS Reagan and the underlying reason for its visit. Before Manila, Dalton says the USS Reagan went around the disputed South China Sea as part of its annual patrols in the Indo-Pacific region. Dalton says they patrolled without incident, coordinating with all countries as they roamed the waters. This continued presence in the Indo-Pacific has supported our ability to defend our nation and our allies, but it also promotes our ability to safeguard freedom of the seas, unimpeded commerce, to deter conflict and coercion, and to promote adherence to rules-based international order. Satellite images show China has built over 1,600 structures in the disputed waters, with 800 of these located in the part of the sea that belongs to the Philippines. The USS Ronald Reagan is the third aircraft carrier to visit the Philippines in 2018, in the middle of rising tension in the region. It is a clear display of power by the United States, while its longtime ally, the Philippines, becomes friendlier with Beijing by the day. With the growing aggressiveness of China in the contested waters, can the United States maintain the strength-based peace it treasures in the region? Rambo Talabong Rappler, Manila.